Okay. Cool. Uh, sure, this is weird. Doing our first uh, live podcast. Well, n- not weird for you because you've done this. Before. Yeah, I do these often. Yeah. <laughs> it feels a bit different for me. <laughs> cool. Now so there's got, about like, five audience. guys. Come again. Now we've got a live audience. We've got a live audience. Yeah. So all of your mistakes are going to be remembered. <laughs> I see we got about five people in the comments. Uh, what's up, everybody? Hey, guys. Oh, let's give it Alan's another. In- let's give it another two minutes. Nothing. Yeah, but we got Rats ass. We got Nottas. We got Lindsay. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah, I need to just practice looking towards my camera. That's slightly angled off. <laughs> my- I also need to grab something then. My Zaku, my painted Zaku converge, <laughs> which is like, <laughs> cool. I got one of those too, but it's too far for me to reach. It's on my, it's on my computer box. You can clearly see that uh, Gun- the, the, the leaders of Gunplay SA is very uh, biased towards Zeon, hey? <laughs> yeah, we love Zeon. Sick Zeon. Uh, too, too much, too much. Yeah, too much. How are you guys doing? We're here to judge. Oh no. Oh Good. no, it's it's uh, it's Luke again with his happy birthday. <laughs> 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 Apparently he just says like every day is happy birthday to everybody. <laughs> I love Norman Luke. <laughs> oh, when, happy when birthday. I, was, I mean the other night on my stream. When I was, when I was, yeah, Clowns. when I was watching your stream back, it's like you guys were getting so confused to stream. I mean who who's uh, birthday it was? Oh it's the Norman. best. <laughs> it's the best. Cool. Um okay. right. I feel like I feel like we can do some damage now. Hey, what's up, yeah. Ataka Dean? Yeah. Hey buddy. Hey, how's it going? I appreciate, uh, appreciate everybody joining our, our first uh, live podcast. We're doing it live. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> cool. Okay, cool. so. Uh... I thought you were going to do the clap synchronization thing. No, 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 <laughs> we don't have to. Not for this one. So we'll just, we'll just. Oh, good oh, evening, uh, members of the ball force. This thing is going <laughs> to export, right? Um, at the end. Yes, of this. it's recording. Okay, okay, right. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's do that intro again. <laughs> Good evening, Bold Force, and welcome to our first very long uh, title for this uh, live podcast. Uh, Jeff and I are going to be getting into some cool uh, news. Well, cool news, let's see. Uh, mm. A little bit of speculation. And then we're going to go and check out mm. the awesome Discord channel uh, that you guys have been populating with your builds. We are super excited, but before we get into any of that cool stuff, how's it, Jeff? Yeah, how is it, how is it? Yeah, uh, it's like my, my week has been quite long, and then this is like a great break away from that. So yeah, how are you? I, I'm good, man. I totally feel you on that. I've also had a long week. Um, busy on a... Oh, wow, there we go. I should have put that on silent. But uh, I'm also busy on some crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, work-wise which is exciting it's really cool stuff it's just it's, it's it requires a lot and then been making trying to make sure that the live stream was good and the the uh the previous build stream had a, a few whoopsies here and there which were funny mm. um well, that's life, so, yeah no? that's life and then also uh hello build force welcome Yay. again How's it going um, force? <laughs> our first uh, live audience in a podcast <laughs> yeah so sorry, just this is getting in my face. There we go. That one's getting Since in my face. Now I can see properly. Build streams uh, recently, you know. Um, now this is becoming more like, yeah, just natural evolution that we become more interactive with our build force, especially as build force is growing to a good number um, within our community now. Yeah. So yeah, mm. how's everybody? Yeah, guys, hit us up in the comments. Let us know if you are having a good evening and a good week. And a um, bit of a South African topic, but how do you feel about not wearing masks? Let me know in the comments. Do you mm. feel liberated or are you freaked out? We will check it out in a few seconds. But um, <laughs> yeah, before we get into all of the speculation and news and stuff, Jeff, is there anything you're building that's on your table that's exciting uh, that you're getting through oh, at the yeah. moment? Yeah, so recently I finished my um, 
Ultraman Zero, huh? Ultraman Suit Dark Club, Dark Club Zero. Zero. Well, like the name's too long. <laughs> anyway, I kind right. of deconstructed it and started uh, the sanding process. So I'm actually quite, uh, you know, now that you mentioned about building and stuff, like my next build is, you know, seeing your um, Kyokasenki Reiki build, it's like, oh man, I'm getting really excited to, to build my first Kyokasenki kit as well. So Aww. I'll be my next build stream. So it's the Brody Hound uh, Brad exclusive. Yeah, so I'll build that next. <laughs> and yourself? What's going to be next? Me. Uh, well... I had so much fun building this bad boy, the the Reiki mm. on the last stream. Yeah. Um, and then once, you know, now that I've had a chance to play with it properly, really get mm. into it and and just uh, just look at all of the details and look for places to fix up seams. I've noticed yeah, there's a few... Kind of work that you wanted to do. Yeah, there's quite a bit of... Well, not like too much, but there's a little bit of stuff that I'd like to do because I've noticed there's a few differences in the kit versus the artwork that I'd mm. like... You know, and some of those things on I prefer on the kit, and some of them I prefer in the artwork. Uh, and the one in particular is like uh, here on the legs when mm, that zooms yeah, in. You can see there's these like little studs on the feet, right? Yeah, and kind of those are actually meant to be holes. The lighting is very uh, <laughs> it's over super blown, harsh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, at least the, the at least you can see it on this uh, portion here. So oh, yeah, the gray part here. Yeah. yeah. So those are I'm gonna like cut those all off and then drill like shallow holes with a bit of a, a chamfer inside and I figure I should do that while the bolt force is watching so you guys can see how I do one of them or three of them in the session um, and then yeah it's got a bit of um, like the kit has basically no seams to be fair but it's got mm. one or two things that I consider a seam especially when you want to do like some panel lining so that's like some stuff I want to sort out on that so that's kind of my next build but I am really really excited to get into my batmobile next mm. uh yeah so i uh, i think uh, it'll be quite a cool and rico has been asking about that one yeah <laughs> and yeah guys in the comments like you can also let us know what you're building and then we are we'll read them just now cool and cool. um yeah so that's us uh right now in the bold force and obviously we're still excited uh because there's some new stuff that's coming into the store soon and yeah we're just waiting for that to happen so yeah that's always cool that's cool stuff oh. and uh, until yes. that uh, happens yeah look uh, bandai released some news this week and mm -hmm. also last um well not bandai sunrise released some news last week but yeah we can cover that uh quickly in the cool. first Should portion I... of the class before let we me... go into the work in progress of everybody yeah yeah let's let go. me press the button <laughs> <Beep>. <laughs> the Look, Lord. behold, everybody, the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's summer. Anyway. Oh, it's Japan summer. <laughs> Japan summer. Yeah. So, um, Jeff, I'm going to let you uh, run with this one a little bit. Okay. And right. I'll so, just, you just tell um, me what to do. <laughs> yeah. So, like, Bandai, uh, what they've been doing since, like, the past year, they started uh, doing these, like, news outlets every quarter like every three months they drop this uh hobby next phase basically and then they basically announce the kits that's coming like six months down the line so in the hobby next phase 2022 summer edition um they're announcing the kits that's coming out actually in their winter like in, around like october uh, november and december so we'll take a look and it goes across from like different uh lines so like the mm -hmm. gumpler and also you know just the whole figureized stuff as well so they've got two yes. days this time like the last one they had like across four days but this time they went a bit um not as crazy just two days but they, it's quite packed as well but again we'll go through it very quickly so it was tuesday and wednesday so tuesday uh, they covered like with pokemon i think pokemons all the pokemans yeah dude so i legit just, had a kid in the class <laughs> that I train, called him Pokemans. Yeah. I was like, he had one of those coins, you know, that comes <laughs> with the starter set. And I was like, oh cool, what's that? And then he had like a Bulbasaur um, coin okay. thing. I'm like, oh cool, it's a Pokemon coin. And he's like, yeah, do you know what? This is this is a Pokemans coin. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, what's this? What is this thing? It's a, it's a Onyx, isn't it? 
Uh, isn't it like blue Dremon? <laughs> oh, I know what this is called. This is called White Eyes Blue and Yellow Dragon, isn't it? Yeah, White Eyes, White Eyes Blue Dragon. I love it. It just rolls off the tongue. That that name. This is Gyarados. Yeah. Gyarados. Uh, yeah. We're pretty triggering. I don't think Screech is in the. Ch uh, I hope we triggered a few Pokemon peeps. <laughs> but, I love uh, you guys, yeah. but. Screech is very excited for, for this uh, Pokemon kit, the Gyarados. He actually wants two. He says like he wants to paint one of them as the shiny version, which is, I think, that's the red Gyarados. Oh, cool. That'd be cool. Hmm. And it looks cool. It looks like a fun kit to build. I mean, all these Pokeplot kits are actually really great. Yeah. So, so um, this po Pokemon kit is not in the Poke, uh, Pla Quick line. This is just the yeah. Poke Pokepla line. So the Poke Pla Quick line is like you don't need any nippers. But what we see in this picture is actually the, with the main Poke Pla line as well. This one's shifting to no nippers as well because like there's the symbols saying you don't need any uh, tools. So yeah, yeah you can snap them off. Yeah. yeah. So it's if you nice. want to build this, don't be a tool. Moving along. <laughs> along. Oh, What's yeah, this thing? I mean, <laughs> this I, thing looks I, obscene, I, dude. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just not... Yeah, I've never seen this <laughs> oh, Pokemon still, before oh, until we, today. Are we still family friendly or something? Because I don't know the name of this one. And the first thing came to my mind. Oh, sorry, like, maybe you just stop me before I say it. Like, it looks like cream. Yeah, I think maybe just stop me. I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, I don't say anything. Uh, I just. <laughs> well, it is I'm a just, cream Pokemon. So. It just looks crazy <laughs> with those. But it's yeah. cute, you know, like, I'm sure somebody, uh, Jeff, you know it, you've just heard the feelings of somebody out there whose favorite Pokemon is this, this one. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's okay, we, we, you know, you know what I see when I look at this though, like rocket pods? I feel like if you had to take the time and really like scribe in some like, you know, panel lines and stuff, you could really make like a cool, like, you know, killer version of this. It could be quite fun. <laughs> I'm also a little bit yeah. worried because it kind of looks a bit like it wants to eat itself, which freaks me out. Or so, that, yeah, uh, so, that score bunny looks like it wants to eat it. Yeah, the score bunny. <laughs> yeah, you better watch out, score bunny. Uh, cream, cream, cream thing is going to get you. Um, but yeah, any if there's Pokemon guys there in the chats, please uh, give us a correct title. Because uh, yeah. if we're going to be like punks about this, I'd at least like to have the right name. But yeah, um, yeah that's good. Yeah. <laughs> The next one, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff, so let's like not rush cool. through, but let's get to the next one. Oh, Mazinga! Oh, I can talk this about is... this one, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know too much about Mazinga, but you know quite a bit, hey? Yeah, so Mazinga is just awesome. And if you guys are into this, uh, into this very cool old school anime, then they've done some really great uh, revisions mm -hmm. on the mix or on the super robots to be clear because they're technically not mixed but anyway let's not get into that but anyway we've got uh, uh mazinga this zero hg yeah this is a hg scale 12144 but it's it's not the it's same big size. dude no, it's it's big, no right? yeah they they built uh, a 144 mazinga is about the size of a master grade it's kind of it's kind mm -hmm. of biggish you know like yeah it's it's about double the size of this about so it's about yeah. there and yeah. they are very very good kits um like the way that they designed and the way that they go together, they they don't have too many uh, too many worries in the way of like seams and that kind of thing. And mm. they just they're so much fun. Like I can't wait. I've got a Grandizer that I want to paint up. And every time I see a Mazinga, I'm like, damn, I want one. But then it's just gonna go in the backlog. But then this thing comes out, I'm like, ooh. Anyway, this guy's sure. pretty hey, pretty minute. beefy. And um, pardon me. And as you can see, the details are insane. They do a mm. lot of. You get a lot, um, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah, and you get a lot, a lot of bang, uh, bang for your buck out of these. They also give you these little stands, by the way, for the shooting arms, mm. or at least they did in the Grandizer uh, one. And then the um, mouth can open as well. Is that yeah? Sorry, like that whole red thing. Is that a weapon? Or is, yes. Is like a stepping board that it rides on, or it's both. <laughs> okay, sure. It's both. Um, in fact, and then they've got now you can see the cool turnaround image. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of plastic. That's a chunky yeah, bit of plastic. I wonder if it's two like big plastics like come together, or is it going to be more complicated than that? I'm just glad that, like, based on what I can see here, that 
it doesn't have to fit flush like they built an intentional sort of panel line in mm, between, panel there. Line in between the because blades, yeah. like to try and fix a seam on that something that big is is a nightmare it's not fun mm. to do and then here we got um sort of model kit reenactments of some of the scenes from the anime that's that's the one i've got grandizer and yeah i gotta say man i'm very excited about these and if you guys are mildly interested in any of these designs uh jump in on them because they are fantastic kits you really get a lot of plastic in that box and or, or if you guys are interested like let us know and we can look into it mm. for you you know yeah. totally uh let us know and then oof, yeah alter Eisen from super robot wars og or original generation mm -hmm. um it's just the blue version of the red alter Eisen. cool mm. the red one's cool enough in my opinion Go away, P Bandai. Well, the, the red ones are uh, yeah, more accessible because they're uh, at regular retail release. Ah, yeah. oh, Lindsay Log says she wants a Bandai Mazinga Z UFO robot. UFO robot is Grandizer, yeah. So they are totally, dude. You should get one. <laughs> um, well, let us know in the Discord. You know the drill. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it so. Oh, she, has, she has been letting us know quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. shout, okay. Lindsay. Well, I'm that? just glad that. Uh, I just want to, and I do want to shout out, uh, Lindsay, I'm sorry if I'm putting spotlight on you, but I'm so glad that you've brought up Macross and Mazinga up. Mm. Uh, uh, it's much appreciated. It's just, just because... quite a hardcore um, anime fanatic or mecha anime. Well, yeah, she seems to know her stuff, definitely. Anyway, uh, without focusing too much on that, let's check out, because we've got a lot of cool stuff and we, you know, we have to check out this and... I don't know. My power reading is getting over what, Jeff? What what, what kind of 9, power reading 000. are we getting from this? <laughs> over nine thousand. Over nine thousand. This joke has been used too much. So, um, going from Mecha to something more humanoid. So this Goku was announced like previously at Shizuoka, but now it's just like some glamour shots, I suppose. Like with like you know, graphic design. Instead sort of just seeing the model kit on there. Uh, at a hobby show yeah Pretty cool. uh, i think these are great um i think if you one of those if like for me this build looks like it's going to be an absolute nightmare because for me personally i would want to fix all the seams mm. um but if you're the kind of person who actually doesn't want to ever paint this i don't think you even need to paint this to be very honest mm. with you uh, i think it's just going to be really great out of the box and you know dbz figures are they're kind of expensive and so having a model kit that you can build with this kind of posability i think is pretty awesome and there's a lot of and dbz fans like, out there that yeah, and becomes the action figure afterwards you know that you can play yeah it's also really great if you're like an artist um even like just to have something like this because the way the light hits it is pretty dynamic so you can actually yeah. do some very cool like practicing like shadow practicing and stuff but that's yeah. just me being an illustrator and yeah, being silly. as a reference figurine yeah. oh cool. dude did we just get raided uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just see in the comments we got a uh, no bounce, no play SSDD when Ranch Breath raid. So, okay. cool. Well, got a raid. Got a raid. <laughs> How's it, guys? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Um, hmm. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, this uh, is Gunplay SA, Gunplay South Africa. <laughs> cool man so that. yeah so we got goku looking really awesome and in, in new model kit form and yeah mm. there's these great little stands that bandai does for these figures so you know jeff i don't know about you i'm not going to be grabbing any of these but i am very excited to see what people do with them yeah um you know again if people are interested let us know in, in the request and we'll get them in for you we'll make but sure yeah, we get I, them I, I personally, when I want to build model kits, I want to build like mecha model kits. So I'll probably you know, give this one a skip as well. No, so personally, I'm not a huge, uh, crazy DBZC fan. I, I appreciate it. Don't go crazy oh. over it. Yeah. Okay, and then something like I'm a fan of the old school Common Rider and Boss Rider oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, so okay. this is very cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm personally not super amped about it, but it is great to see things like the double jointed knees for the posability. And the detail in this kit is insanely cool. I mean, like just a little bit of a wash, like a, a you could really bring out some of these details um, if you need to. Uh, I know that these can be pretty chunky, but look at that, that double knee bend is great. 
You know, mm -hmm. so it's not trying to be super, super uh, realistic, but super fun. Oh, cool, man. Check the even all these like, cards. I think the whole, you know, the whole figure rise kids is trying to make like model kits and action figure that you can play with often. So that's the appeal, you know? Mm. Not to play. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, cool. And there's like. Oh, so if you, you guys are fans of this with the new <laughs> card system that they use, power to you. Wow. Yeah. Got Dude, the... the more I look at this, the more I'm like, hmm, maybe I should get one. They, they, it's curious, <laughs> but uh, but no, I'll save my my money for something else that I know is yeah. coming. Yeah, you've got a common rider coming already. So. <laughs> yeah, it's Ultraman. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, I built. Well, I built the the modern edition of that Ultraman, the Ultraman Zero D. Yeah. So, yeah. So once again, Bandai is doing some more stuff with the figure eyes. And we're seeing, like, I think this is Ultraman Tiger or Tiger Tiger. Mm -hmm. um, very cool looking design. I really like the design. Maybe it's just my old school sensibilities or something. But I love mm. this. It's very clean. It's quite mm. interesting. Um, I see one or two seam lines. They won't be too much of a problem. To Apparently, fix. it's all part separated, so it's not stickers. Wow, that's that's great. Yeah. That, oh, there we go. That's yeah. That's how it should be. You know, with kits like this, mm. I feel. Because it's also much easier for you to paint that as well, because you can just paint those separate pieces in color. Oh, there mm. we go. Space beam. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Okay, and that's Ooh. Ultraman Zero. Well, Ultraman. Uh, um, who's yeah. big? Who's a, who's a One Piece fan in the comments? <laughs> I know Screech is a big One Piece fan, I think. Yeah. Well, we will so, read back the comments. I mean, the comments chat. <laughs> Yeah, so the yeah, so the Grand Ship Collection, uh, they're bringing out this one. I think it's, oh, dude, I w I'm not. I think One Piece is cool, but I don't know a lot about it. So, mm. yeah. So all I can say is this looks like a lot of fun. Uh, the previous releases that they did were amazing. Um, I know the this one, the main the main ship, or the something be happy or go merry or something. Yes. I think go uh, merry. I have seen that kit before and it's really really cool so if you guys are one piece fans and you're looking to add a one piece grand ship to your collection well you won't be disappointed they're also pretty big they okay. yeah and with yeah with a new ship coming i wonder if bandai is gonna reproduce all the previous ones as well yes yeah. and yeah. and the cool yeah but and it, like i was saying the quality on these is so great that you won't really feel any kind of age and i think they're only about four or five years old hey the that line that line of kits mm. but jeff now now is the realness here comes the realness okay. the awesome are we going to is this so i think this is tuesday done hey so i think before yeah. we go into the next day wednesday uh, check some comments yeah yeah check the comments interact with a bit okay so let me take it up to oof, it's been insane <laughs> uh otaku dean answered our question no 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 so we got uh we asked uh with south africa not now we don't have to wear masks or anything like that anymore how do you guys feel about mm. that um so jeff uh, um jeff sorry jeff otaku dean 4250 says still gonna wear a mask when i go out this gosh darn panini isn't isn't over yet cool man uh, no sleep shogun and how's it no sleep shogun we didn't get a chance to say hello yeah, to you earlier it, man. Um, nice dream yesterday, eh? <laughs> yeah man and he said he's like i know right me too um so yeah, he's also I, gonna I, keep I'm it still, up i'm not still, still gonna wear my mask you know because like just just because like the regulations like i mean not regulation that the whole mask thing is off now like if everybody just like start taking off their mask uh, um, it's gonna be a spike up the numbers but yeah I'll just yeah. I don't know. It feels weird not to wear a mask. <laughs> so. It feels weird. Uh, I'm. I don't want to comment. I'm just curious on people's thoughts. <laughs> um, Rat Sass is like he feels it's better to still wear the mask and not to get the nasty. Cool. Um, Otaku Dean says no current build. He's painting his first gunpla kit though. That's pretty yeah. awesome, Dean. I I think I saw some uh, progress in the Discord. So you know, you it's the process. Hey, did you highlight? I can see his message on the screen. On the screen, yeah, because the future yeah. and everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, so um, that's awesome. No sleep, Shogun. It's like, oh my god, that Mazinger Z set looks amazing. Oh my oh. god, no sleep, Shogun. It is. 
Trust me, it mm. is. I'm actually so silly. I should have pulled mine out of the box to at least show you guys mine on the show. Mm. My grandizer, at least. Mm. Um, well, maybe you can it... uh, build it as a, a build streaming feature, like leading up to the release of this. Well, new... I've already built it. That's the thing. I just oh. need to clean it up to get it ready for painting. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, well, um, uh, Shogun, if you're interested in that kit, let us know in request. You know, you can bring it in. I think it's only coming out in December. so. When we probably get it in, it's probably going to be January or February, but yeah. But there are others as well, so let us know. Cool. And then, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, to our cream Pokemon earlier, No Sleep Shogun was like, it's Ice Cream Amon. I don't know if that's real, <laughs> um, but I'll allow it. I know Lindsay ice... Lark, Lindsay yeah, Lark has now it's... set us all straight. She's like, oh. El Creamy is the name. Creamy. Thank you, Lindsay oh, Lark. Okay. We are smart <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> um cool uh then let's go through the oh and then we got raided that was pretty insane and uh to the raiders that are still here guys that's very cool of you joining in uh, yeah and then everybody's just saying what's up to the raiders and uh dean loves the colors of that ultraman yeah i i don't blame Ooh. you it's a very good looking kit man and um yeah oh look look who joined us look at this look who's this oh, good? Screech. Look, and then screech. rasa says he's a huge one piece fan so yeah screech is not the only one and rasa is a huge one piece fan so sweet <laughs> lindsay log says she needs a ramrod kit to come out <laughs> that, <It's laughs> emoji. uh i imagine it's a pokemans oh okay okay it could be <laughs> one of the pokemans yeah so anyway <laughs> Cool. So, uh, Jeff, what happened on day two of the Gunpla News? Yeah. So Me. yesterday, it's that's going to Wednesday's announcements. Yeah. So Wednesday, <laughs> she said no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Wednesday's announcements. Well, yesterday it was focusing on Gunpla. Uh, there's the the Gunpla kits coming from the new series that's starting in October. The Witch uh, from Mercury, and then the other Gunpla. You mean this uh, cool series? Well, yeah and then yeah. also they covered their 30 minutes missions and 30 minutes sisters so yeah yeah we can start oh my <laughs> word dude mm. two seconds sorry i'm just watching the comments mm. i know i've completely killed your flow i'm so sorry mm. look who dropped this bomb in the comments saber rider okay. and the star sheriffs yes actually i okay. actually totally forgot the name of the ramrod I don't think we'll ever see a mech of that, but just to just quickly respond to that comment, uh, in the toy world, as I'm, and I'm sure you know this because if you're a fan of something like Saber Riders, you probably got your ear on a lot of the retro toys. A lot of companies are picking up retro figures and releasing them independently. So there's guys that have picked up the license for Mask. Uh, for example, there's guys that have picked up, um, you know, like there's, there's kits coming up for something called Spiral Zone. And there's a lot of really great like uh, sort of rejuvenation in the retro space so there's a likely there, there's a possibility that we might see a re-release of um what was i going to say now of saber riders and maybe the figures and possibly the ramrod mech it's very likely i don't think it's something we'll see from japan per se but yeah so mm. it's all thumbs hopefully it happens like they, they just went over my head it's like what the hell are yeah you guys I, I know it's like it's it's probably a cartoon you're not familiar with like at all um but yeah so sorry that, jeff you were telling us about the awesomeness that is the witch of mercury witch from mercury and the yeah. announcements and then i was a so punk look, and interrupted yeah so looking at these two kits um you know these are not new announcements they've announced them uh, i think three months two months back yeah mm -hmm. um but now we've got more information so we've got the release date and the price point. So these are actually coming out in August. So this is these two mobile suits is appearing in a prologue, which is apparently airing in July. So uh, these kits will be coming out quite soon before the Saber series. Riders. Sorry, <laughs> I, apparently I need to watch the intro. Well, you need to watch the intro, Jeff. Um, oh. <laughs> and so, so this yeah. is uh, Gundam Le Freeth. Le Freeth, yeah. The, I, I keep saying it, but this is a very sexy looking design and I I will scream if I can't get my hands on one. I'll actually video myself. Well, okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's incentive for me to get one now, but 
launch at launch they'll be limited but uh, i'm sure they will release like uh you know they'll keep up with the reproduction in months to come because it's a new kit and the series of is coming up soon after so yeah I, I just mostly feel like the newest thing that they announced about this kit is the spinny viewer. Whee! I can make it spin. Um, but it's great because now I get to finally check out this backpack properly. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we, we mentioned uh, in a past podcast, we speculated there's some gimmicks happening with mm. that backpack. Like maybe a drone unit or something. Drone unit, place to put the guns, all kinds of cool stuff that could happen with this. This is a damn good looking kit. I think this is going to be, you see what I love about this kit in, in particular, pardon me. <clears throat> Sorry. What I like about a kit like this uh, in particular is the whole, um, it looks, when I say easy to build, mm -hmm. every, every Gundam kit is easy to build, right, dude? But mm -hmm. it just looks like I can take it out of the box, build it, sand it clean and paint it up immediately it doesn't look like i have to fix up any seams or do anything crazy yeah. to it and i love that when a kit is that straightforward and that simple it makes me very happy because yeah, so, i think there's a part separation to it so like a mm -hmm. lot of where the parts join they are intentional to have a break rather than like two parts join and supposed to look like seams then you need to do seam like seam removals yeah, yeah. It looks like, yeah, exactly, it looks like a lot of the part separation is very well considered and thought out. I also love the return of these, uh, I, they look like heat sinks. I don't know if they technically are, but I love the return of this design because that's something that we saw a lot of in Iron-Blooded Orphans. So I'm glad mm. to see it coming back in this, in the language of this design. Um, cool, and then uh, there's another one, the Big Ewer, or Big Will, Big Will Bow, or the Big Wear Bow view however you want to do it because we don't actually even know we'll pronounce it when the anime tells us how to mispronounce it <laughs> it's h hg, HG bagel hg <laughs> oh jeff uh. so how are you feeling about this now that you're seeing the proper like shots of the kits hmm. well we've seen the shots of the kits before but uh you know it's it's nice it's nice very unique i um, I, I was really interested on in picking up this one, but now uh, recent uh, concept arts dropped last week. Um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of holding out for the other one, but yeah. Oh, really, I think I know really which one you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. yeah we will cover it after all these. I want, I want all of them. <laughs> this will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> they are too cool. And this, uh, yeah such a cool such an interesting silhouette i really i find mm. this whole bit here at the back fascinating like super mm. intriguing once again looks fun and easy to build maybe there's going to be a little bit of um you know not maybe definitely going to be some gap filling there but when we see the parts in hand maybe they've you know molded some detail in there so that could be even cooler cool um and then oh yeah and then i suppose this is worth mentioning quickly we've got a cool like little poster i think this is for the prologue hey jeff um, um, yeah, this is the prologue's the poster. Bottom, the bottom there is the prologue. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's it, the whole thing. It, but uh, like all the events leading up to just, the anime. Yeah, yeah. No, I just I wanted to comment on this poster. I really like I like the style. I like the way it's painted, and I like how she's been rendered and everything. It's really cool. So let's move on to. Oh no no, I've gone too far. Oh, teleport. Oh teleport. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is covering the other Gunpla. Uh, hey, lines. it's Satan Gundam. Yeah, <laughs> it's what they're covering here is just the SD stuff. So it's, mm, yeah, <laughs> this is like what the opposite of the other dragon that they announced previously, which is coming out soon. This is Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yeah, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. No, nice companion to go with your SD kits. Let them ride on a dragon. I also think if you like super creative, you could even repurpose these parts and like mm. mix them up with like 30 minute missions or something as well. Yeah, um, actually, I've got one of mine here, one of my BB kits here like with me. Like, I haven't got put any stickers on or anything because I don't do that. I'll paint mine. But I think this is the same. Yeah, this is the one that's riding on the right hand side. Yay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> Epion. Yeah. You didn't plan for this, did you? <laughs> I actually didn't. No, this guy's just been my desk buddy for a while. So, 
Um, and then we got like over 90,000 super powered Son Goku over here. Ish, I think. Uh, I think this is a Gundam Astroid. Yeah, it looks like an Astroid. Yeah, it is. That's a Astroid Red. Quite a, quite a lot of swords. Eh? Oh, it's Sun Quan. <laughs> I think is meant to be his name. Uh, yeah, Sentron. Yeah. Yeah, Sentron. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm sure the Japanese people also pronounce it differently. <clears throat> oh, and then some stuff in the comics. And mm -hmm. yeah, yes. guys, yeah. let us know in the comments of any of these like SD kits are blowing you away. Hmm. Uh, they've surely uh, they're blowing me away, but I'm worried that maybe I'm buying too many of them. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but again, like um, <clears throat> we might not order everything, you know, uh, we order the main stuff. But if there's any particular kit, whether it's future ones or past ones that you're interested in, just let us know, and uh, yeah, we can see bring them for you. But yeah, you guys know about that already. So anyway, let's move on. Cool. And then we got. Well, hold on, hold 30 on, hold minute on. missions. No, 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 there's, there's more on, on the Gumpla. Uh, Is there more? Like, what well, did I miss out on? I'm, oh, wait, I know, I know. <laughs> I meant to keep scrolling, scrolling, it's, it's scrolling, like scrolling. Big, scrolling. <laughs> this, this is the big one we wanted to chat about. And this thing just, or this thing? No, 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 the whole <laughs> I'm being a punk, dude, I know. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay, so I, I, I'm gonna come out and, and say it like we've we've discussed this <clears throat> in the Discord, <clears throat> so that you know when the whole Bandai news dropped, we were kind of feeling a bit like lackluster uh, mm. because a lot of these news weren't new. They they showed them at Shizuoka already, but maybe mm. like you know for people who missed Shizuoka, this could be quite exciting. But first like okay just confirmation and seeing more pictures or seeing the release date and then the price point but this is something totally new so the new uh mask weight um this year 2022 is going to be the 20th anniversary and mm. you know it's quite exciting that they're kind of teasing it they haven't dropped what's coming but yeah it's, it's nice talking point i think like um shall we discuss about it now and just get everybody's predictions in as well what yeah, I think uh, let's do this. Let's let's do this. Um, hey guys, everybody there, uh, let us know in the chats uh, what you predict the next version K will be. Um, yeah. And while you're doing that, Jeff and I will cover the rest of the stuff in the show, and then we'll come back yeah, to this and then, uh, and check everybody's comments, and then we'll speculate on it. Uh, I think Jeff and I, I think we're kind of on the same wavelength with what it's going to be. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what you guys think it's going to be. Yeah. Um, and also, if you have no idea what it's going to be, let us know what you hope it's going to be, because that's also fun, right? Yeah. Also, yeah. Um, Jeff, uh, No Sleep Shogun, uh, just uh, wanted to shoot you this comment. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then he also said your Mandarin no. is on point. So. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Um, also, Lindsay Log just mentioned that she feels like, well, I like, what. Well, let me just uh, quote this directly. Like, I love the SD stuff, but I feel a lot of it just gets lost in the, in the noise when they get that busy. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Um, and I feel that is the kind of thing where if you're a little bit more experienced, you can bring out a lot of that. If, you, if you're good with colors mm -hmm. and you know how to separate a lot of your values. But yeah. yes, the designs think, are insane. I, yeah, I think <laughs> what you're saying is like they may be over designed, but I think that's the whole point of those fantasy um, styles of the, the SD lines that like they're trying to make them look really appeal to kids. And yeah, there's on, a the, lot of... on the topic of SD, there's another speculation we want to chat about. Shiny Gundam. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I know what you mean. So let's get into the... Um, should we, should you want to get into that now or should I go into the 30 minutes quickly? Uh, yeah, okay, at the very bottom. So it's got the MGX Strike Freedom. Mm -hmm. So we want to, I, I noticed one new thing that they showed. Yeah. So yeah. now that they've got an actual product page for a Strike Freedom, they've loaded all the previous pictures onto it. But I noticed one new picture. Um, so it's not this picture. I just want to no. put this here because it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, this also looks cool, but mm. the picture that Jeff is referring to is this one. And I'm sorry I can't make this much. Uh, wait, bigger. Hold on, just right click, right click, and just open new tab. I'm sure, you can make it. Bigger. There we go. There you go. Paul, so, how to uh, use the internet? 
<laughs> the top section is what they've shown before so it's all uh, um items that comes with the kit so it comes with a stand yay so you don't need to buy a separate stand uh the bottom left they show you it comes with water slide decals so we're not going to get stickers yay <laughs> and also there's the photo edge uh, metal parts plus the three uh, 3d metallic stickers um which are these if i'm not mistaken yeah, plastic yeah, yeah. stickers yeah and, and then bottom right is something that we've never seen bandai release or come with a kit before is that it, they're giving us like they're including what's it a uh, cardboard craft paper craft uh what you call it a runner separator runner stand runner, or, <laughs> runner runner organizer yeah so it's kind of like weird but okay thanks bandai <laughs> well the cool thing like you know yeah thanks bandai i mean that's very cute of them and all that i gotta say this though dude it's cool to see this because having that kind of thing is pretty handy and i'm sure a lot of the guys um in the chats now and a lot of people who have seen this are like oh yeah i could totally make one of those you know yeah well so, like umpa villas made his own uh runner organizer but you know like in, in the past like banda has never done this until now so i think this is to tell you that expect a lot of runners with this kit <laughs> yeah that or i don't know they have to give you something i mean it's not exactly yeah. a cheap kit anyway <laughs> better, be um, ex better be an extreme render organizer <laughs> so um let's get uh because we're gonna mo be moving from gundam stuff soon so should we get into that speculation jeff about the uh, possible mg version katoki kit yes yeah. <clears throat> okay, okay cool Cool. So I was so, going to bring it up to the comments yeah. here. How, okay, so you want to go through the comments first, okay? Yeah, so um, Razgreets, or the Demons of Uh he reckons, okay, he's just excited about the MGX Strike Freedom. So, yeah. you know, so that's awesome. But Screech reckons, or Screech, I'm, I'm guessing he's hoping, or is guessing Barbatos, <laughs> because I have no clue what else, you know? So, okay, Barbatos sounds... Bobatos would be nice. A version mm. K Bobatos could be very interesting, actually. Mm. Uh, nowhere Luke is Charles Zakutu. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Who is the Zakutu in version Katoki style? Exactly. I would love that because yeah, I have I, seen Katoki's yeah. Zaku. Yeah. So we've got Psycho Zaku, but it doesn't really count. I feel. It doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't feel revamped. Yeah, it doesn't feel revamped enough to be like a proper. Kit. exactly and then tenro the og says g self okay <laughs> and i believe this yeah. is wishful thinking i yeah. want a g self no. master grade but or real grade or both was it no. two was it two or three years ago that bandai did a public poll to to ask them like what is your um like uh wish list for the most anticipated uh, yeah yeah most anticipated yeah. version kotoki kit and then the the top uh, voted was the G self, but then obviously Bandai just says, "Oh, you know, we're not going <laughs> to listen." Bandai was like, "Wow, <laughs> you guys really do love the G self." Like, oh, here's but, Psycho Gundam like, Voke. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> then uh, uh, Josh Links is actually asking, "What does a different version mean? New frame, maybe?" Um, Josh Links, if you are referring to version K, uh, version K is named as such because Kotoki Hajime, the mech designer, um, he's like a very famous mech designer and sort of consultant for, for Bandai and for Sunrise and has actually been responsible for redesigning a lot of the Gundam units um, within the series to sort of almost yeah. modernize them and he's got a very distinct Immodical style. Form, yeah. yeah, so he's got a very distinct style because he definitely like re fixes a lot of the proportions um the decals like you'll see version uh, when version k started coming out a lot of the decals on gundam started improving the the styling of them improved because that's one of the things he brought to the master grade kit so when they do a version k it's because he's been involved from beginning to end like in charge, on the design yeah. of how this kit's going to be you know how this kit's going to look and it's kind of like a ferrari master grade in a lot of ways or yeah. whatever like if you look, exotic sports yeah. car 
you want. If you look yeah, at the you... version, uh, Master Grade version Kotoki kits, you'll see they feel very premium, like the box art. Oh, you can see my Sazabi version K in the back there. Maybe I should just grab it quick? <laughs> yes, we can see it. <laughs> Is there enough frame, Jeff? Because that's a big yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go back. Um, so you can see like the version Kotoki kit, the box art is just like white with like the model kit and it, there's no like fancy posing or anything. Um, the biggest thing is they um, very detailed and they have water slide decals. So it's like aimed at the fanatics of um, Gunpla kit mm. fans. Yeah. Hmm. Then um, uh Tenro just said, I'd like something truly new, although I suspect a 0083 kit, hmm, possibly. Um, Urban Tech Bro says, uh, it'd be wild if it was a Master Grade Moon Gundam Vokei. That would be pretty wild. Um, although, yeah, let's see. Uh, I've got a feeling we might see that soon. I don't know if that'll be the 20th anniversary, but I've got a feeling we might see that as a, a full-blown kit. A Takedeen F91 version K would be so cool. Dude yeah i mean you had me at f91 uh i think i think the only reason we won't see that is and i'm sure jeff i'm sure you'll agree with me on this is because they've done the version 2 quite recently and mm. and the version 1 and the version 2 of the most grade f91 aren't separated by too many years i think it's about seven years uh, separates mm. them so yeah yeah. <clears throat> and yeah like coming back to uh screech wanting a version Kotoki of a Barbatos. So so like we it's very unlikely because if they release that it's gonna cannibalize the you know existing uh kit. Yeah. yeah it's possible, yeah. Mm. Um Lindsay Lark Rick uh would love a Baku uh, or a Baku. Um and yes I agree it's a cool kit. I don't know if it's iconic enough for a 20th anniversary but why not it's it, it is something that i feel deserves to have a decent model kit version of i feel like mm. the hg was good um but maybe a little bit too gimmicky i think it deserves it i think it deserves the same love that the Luna Maria hawk gunnazaku got or gunnazaku okay. warrior got uh, <laughs> um now we're starting to get warm now we're starting to mm. get warm. Mm. 91 <laughs> reckons rx 78 2 version k Yes, yeah. but not just a version. Uh, it's not just a uh, version Katoki. It's version Katoki version. Two, what version two version Katoki? Could could they name it like that? <laughs> I think what they would do is is call it RX seventy eight to VK, like two. like return <laughs> or yeah. reprise or something. Oh, some, yeah. Version VK two K. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, um, just in case you don't know the first kit the the first master grade version katoki kit that started the whole line was the rx 78 2 so mm -hmm. yeah and that kit came out back in when uh what hmm? 2002 december mm -hmm. so if i'm gonna speculate um this using kit, the powers of ancient numerology and yeah. you know so it's, divination it's, charts I, i'm i'm personally feeling it's going to be another like a revamped version of the um rx 2 um going back taking his first version katoki kit and revamping it and it's also going to be a, a december release which makes like everything there feels like yeah it's it's got the per the, the ingredients are right for it to do to be rx78 i mean it's 20th mm. anniversary of the first version k as jeff mentioned we got december still coming it's 2022 it just seems like a no-brainer um and also mm. bandai seem to be on such an rx78 high right now I mean, the amount of RX-78 stuff we've gotten in the last two years has been insane. Yeah. Yeah, they had so, a big um, RX-78 releases back in 2020. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the 40th uh, anniversary for, I think, Gunpla or Gundam. The G40, yeah? Yeah. And then there was the, the Origins. Oh, no, the, was it Origins or Beyond Global that came first? But one of them, yeah, then Origins came out. I think they both came out in the same year. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they did. I think one was yeah, because then there was Beyond Global, and then uh, now we've then got Kukuro's Dones Island as well, and then we got a new RX seventy eight that came out as part of the when they released the big you know robot rock. Oh version. yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. those are kind of exclusive, so. But know. still, it's a new sculpt, it's a new mold, and everything that went nuts with it. So yeah. like, um, sorry, pardon me, but Bandai doesn't seem to have any problems with it. And yeah. also... Well, look, look, um, you know, pe maybe Westerners, or I don't know how the rest of you guys feel, but like, you might feel, oh, it's another Grandpa Gundam or Opa Gundam. It's like, haven't you got enough of those? But the thing is, Bandai is going to make what sells. And in Japan, the Arc 78 too sells Mickey like... Mouse, dude. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like unicorn, basically. So, you know, if it, if they're gonna release something in December that everybody's gonna grab up, likely it's gonna be like seventy eight two. But hey, I might uh, be wrong. You know, we'll see. Yeah, that's the that's the fun thing about speculation, right? Right. Um, and also, yeah. if I can say, I want it to be RX seventy eight. Mm. Like I, I've heard some great suggestions here: the F ninety one, the G self, uh, G self, the idea of that. It, it my heart get my heart races when i hear a g self um as a as a possible consideration for a master grade or real grade it really does but because it's been speculated before and because we were ultimately let down i'm i'm cautiously optimistic but i i'm a huge fan of the rx 78 i i, I can't seem to get enough of them and jeff you'll remember when we first met long ago um you know you guys your brother and and yourself knew me as liking rx 78 you guys we used to joke about it mm -hmm. and so having a, a a new vocay of the rx 78 for me would be super awesome because i really do love katoki hajimi's style and mm -hmm. it looks really good in rx 78 and that kit is cool but it doesn't hold up um mm -hmm. that well anymore yeah. I, yeah, I actually so. looked at the, you know, I went on to Dalon and I looked at the review and looked in, in the in design and the internal specs or whatever. But yeah, it's it's got its age. Yeah. yeah. But sure, like, so, can, you, can you believe it? It's like 20 years, like how, how far they've come. <clears throat> yeah. Urban Tech Bro reckons it could be the, um, the RX-93 FF. So I that would be interesting. Because so what kit is that? Is that RX the is that based on the new Gundam, the statue one? Yeah, but that's technically already been done. So, well, I think he's, uh, he just maybe he's just talking about the version Katoki version, maybe. Hmm. But yeah, like you said, like the, the there's already a new Gundam, but it, uh, I feel like the model kits released for <clears throat> based off that statue is all exclusive. So it's very unlikely yeah. this will be a normal retail release. I also love what uh, Ataka Dean had to say here. He's like, RX-78 2 may be overplayed, but it's still dope AF. So <laughs> yeah, it is, dude. It totally is. You, I mean, yeah, it's just one of those suits. And and it's uh, sadly, it's something that a lot of, um, it, it's sad for me, but it, uh, when a lot of new fans see the RX-78, they aren't like, it doesn't hit them the same way. But it's cool because then they love Barbatos. So that's also rad, you know. Um, cool. Anyway, I think we've speculated enough about this version K. I think, uh, should we get <clears> on to... Um, let, let's check out some of the other things from the show and then we can bring up our next speculation topic, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, cool. Cool. So, um, we got some... The MG stuff. Um, is that the other speculation we wanted to talk about? Yes, the other MG the okay. speculation thing. So... <laughs> actually you know what no no <clears throat> let me do it this way guys just like we did with the verke this has been announced or mm. unofficially announced well, it's um, not announced like this yeah. uh this it's toilet been data mined <laughs> leaked <laughs> yeah it's been data mined yeah or leaked or whatever but basically bandai has filed a trademark for this mgsd but uh i don't know if this is the actual logo yeah we can't be it? sure yeah I don't know. We can't be sure. Yeah. Um, but basically, it's it's it, maybe Bandai has plans like coming soon or could be coming down maybe like in a few years down the line. But down don't the know. pipeline. Yeah, or they surprise us with um, an announcement next month out of nowhere going, oh, look, <laughs> pre-order this. So 
yeah so the, this whole concept is pretty wild so yeah let us know what you think would be cool yeah. uh for a master grade sd and also let us know what you think would make an sd kit a master grade yeah I'm curious I, I, to would love, I would love their first one to be the rx78 <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the vocay it's uh, rx78 master grade sd vocay you know maybe that's what it is like, it's it's kind of i don't know it's like not a surprising thing when bandai releases a new line it's likely going to be rx 78 2 or it's going to be the unicorn out like unicorn because yeah. those two it's either rx 78 unicorn the new <laughs> whatever the new series is or like freedom hmm. or uh, yeah. one of freedom's siblings yeah. yeah, yeah, we don't know any information on what this MGSD line could be, but I would love like a bigger, like almost like at a height of a HG kit, so like double the size of the, the current SDs and give them like internal structures and better posability, you know, and everything's like all the color separation is all part separated. So like, like you don't need to rely on stickers. I just want this proportion okay mm -hmm. that i'm showing on the crossbone here yeah the, the, i want that proportion uh, uh, or let me yeah the converge figures that's why i that's why i brought the converge figures out um but i want that kind of proportion mm. okay but bigger like yeah that would like, be so yeah like at least bigger than an hg kit or like the size of a real great sasabi or something like that like around that kind of yeah, because I, I think they want to tap into like a new different uh, demographic. Um, mm. With the SD line, like they, they have a few different lines for the SDs, but their general like target audience is like new builders or kids or like for their family mem members to buy for the kids or like the hardcore. So there's no like... There's no middle mid ground for it. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I think, you know, because with the sd line you either like don't care about painting and you use the stickers or you care about the actual design and you and you do everything of, yeah, and you do the extra effort of like painting it but you know you do get a demographic that's um out there that's just casual builders and they want to get the uh what's it the what's the what's the term i'm looking for like the desired look out mm. the box with no painting and that's something we get from the ng line you know you don't need to rely on stickers if you do get stickers it's generally for like you know um the cameras just to make them pop but uh, I, I see this ng sd is like almost intending to, to be uh, lots of pot separation so you don't need uh color creation or stickers and that'll be great and my next question my, my next question to you then jeff is why aside from the the market like you know what you mentioned about the market about it being a good middle ground why would bandai care why would bandai feel like now is the time to do this because over the years bandai has done interesting stuff with the sds and they've released giant sds like taking the normal sd kit and made it a really big kit um they've done things like taking the sd kits and making the real versions of them like in the case of the rx78 musha um and uh the the what is it the dragon one the shin the the i can't even remember his name now but it's like the like dragon god or yeah, dragon god gun or something like that which is also like a crazy thing um but why now what what do you think is happening in the market now that would make a, 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 a master grade sd kit more appealing to the market in your opinion i think they also just want to tap into like uh for the market to know that you know these lines is to be taken seriously like it's almost like mm. i don't know like how, how i feel about the rg line it's like oh, previously people think oh the hg the scale one to one four four is like eh, it's not really for them but then the whole rg line came out and then became it's it's becoming more popular than than mgs these days you know yeah Hmm. Now, you see, that's kind of where my thinking is coming from as well. I feel like, I feel like, a, as as a, um, the fan base has proven uh, to Bandai that we would actually appreciate that, you know, that middle ground kit. That, hmm. you know, it's not quite for a pro. It's not quite for a kid. That middle level is right for us. And I think we've proven hmm. that because 
Gundam Converge has done incredibly well for Bandai. I think they're ce celebrating their 10th anniversary now. That's 10 years of Gundam Converge figures that have been out. And they are super, super popular. And I think that's also communicating to Bandai that people love that proportion. And mm -hmm. they love that, you know, but maybe they want something more than that. And also, I think the animes for the, like, Sengoku um, series or Sengoku series are doing, like, really well. You know, like the... Mm -hmm. All that stuff so i feel like maybe the market has also matured a little bit in that direction so that's my speculation there and, maybe and what so do you think the first the, one's uh, going to be <laughs> well i mentioned like the rx78 too but i think it's also this mgsd line could be um kind of responding to the competitors because like i know kotobukiya has been making some of the super the robot balls, uh yeah like whatever they call mm. it the gb style as well so but then, like, uh, the Kotobukiya ones is, like, they're very, uh, lots of parts, you know, big box for SD. Well, no, they, they, don't, they don't call it the SD, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, G-Style. It's called yeah, D-Style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got so a yeah, D-Style white Bandai print and a pet leather. Yeah. So I think it's Bandai responding to it, and then maybe, yeah, because, like, they always come out with the new, what's the Super Robot Wars and SD Gundam Generation, whatever games. So mm. I think it's time for Bandai to release more and serious SD kits. Totally, and also like now that you mentioned the, the 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 games, the Super Robot Wars, and the cross generation stuff, even those uh, SD proportions are like double impact. They're like better, you know. They, I don't know, and uh, those games are doing well, and they're also doing well in the Western market. Um, mm -hmm. My my speculation is the same as one of our guys here in the chats. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to spoil who it is, but I reckon <laughs> I agree with Tenro. I think it's going to be a new pattern. <laughs> Not a okay though, but I think the MGSD will be the new. But imagine, imagine that <laughs> that uh, you know there's a S, there's a SD MG, but also version Katoki. Like so, it's like little chibi, and there's lots of like decals, caution marking decals. <laughs> oh, you, you joke, dude! But you know they did a line of Kiroro stuff in Gundam Fix Figuration, and Katoki Hajime designed all of those. Mm -hmm. The the mecha for the, uh, for the yeah. Decal. Because. They look so cool, man. I've got two of them. I've got uh, uh, Keroro and I got um, Gazuzu, the blue, the bad guy, the dark blue one. I think it's Gazuzu. It's his name. Anyway, um, uh, but Screech wants a mega sized PB or something. <laughs> Let's see. Screech is like, since it's an SD kit, could they release MG SD RX seven RX yeah seventy eight and Zaku dual release? So they did. They did do that with the cross silhouettes um, yeah. when they released that. Listen, I, I. The reason I don't want to say anything about a Zaku Master Grade SD is because I don't want to jinx it, and I really feel like I am. So even my thoughts, I'm worried about distorting it. So yeah. if they do that, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I've said enough. Um, Urban Tech Pro. Yeah, I got a lot of SD kits and cross silhouettes on my fave because they're bigger with the add-on frame, which costs extra. Yeah, I also dig them, dude. They're very, very cool. Mm. I, I, um, I've got a crossbone. I got an RX seventy eight, and I got yeah, a Zaku. It's such a I'm shame. Not that impressed with the Zaku. Yeah, it's such yeah. a shame that the cross silhouettes kind of just faded away. Yeah, because they're actually a very cool concept. Um, they mm. do require a little bit of work, but at least you can mess around with it. I also like that new frame that they have for the Zeta Gundam, mm. and then um. Urban Tech Bro said, for those people who just want a couple of cool ones on the desk, those little Converge are the way to go. So, yeah, the Converge figures are chef's kiss. Yeah. I absolutely now, love them. Yeah. Now, imagine if the MGSD is like that, but, you know, bigger and bigger. fully posable and, you know. <laughs> oh, I'd love it, man. I'd love it. There was this great, uh, back on PlayStation 2, uh, there was a role-playing game with SD Gundams, mm. but it was like, I'm um, trying to remember uh, what the name of the game was. I think it's MS, uh, MS Saga or something, or Dawn. Uh, oh, anyway, but you played as human beings, um, you know, and then you got into giant SDs. Like, so like the SD Gundams were the, like the scale of like mobile suits and mm. they got into them and they walked around and everything was like chibi and cute. It was so cool. I really, really, really love that idea. And um, ever since then, uh, that's that switched me on to uh, SD in a big way. I mean, I always liked them, but yeah. Anyway, uh, with that hmm. speculation over, Jeff, 30 minute missions, dude. I know you Ooh. are, between the two of us, you are the man who is into yeah. this more than I am. So tell us about what's going on here, man. Well, we can, we can scroll down. So we've got the night um, 
Spinatio, the night uh, specification. Yeah, those are pretty cool. This is my like up my alley, you know, it's got the night theme to it. Yeah, so it's cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, so you're gonna you're gonna try and get your hands on one of these, I take it. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to. Yeah. I gotta admit, this is really awesome, and also with uh, having played quite a lot of Elden Ring recently, um, it does speak to me. In much the same way, um, some of the new, the Sigrun from Gundam speaks to me as well. Yeah, the IBO, yeah. This is so cool. I'm also, once again, I'm excited to see what guys do with these kits, with um, mm. with, with these parts. Because I think we're going to see some crazy, crazy stuff. Um, I'm pretty damn sure we're going to see an amazing looking centaur from somebody. So <laughs> I'm waiting for that to happen. That's got to happen. I just want to do more, like, uh, have more ideas for Elden Ring inspired customs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I know that that's, I know that this. Yeah, yeah. speaking of which, like, I, I totally want to, I don't know the name of these things. It's like, yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, I totally want to do a, um, there you go. A, Exa, the Exa vehicle. Vehicle armored assault mecha version. So I totally want to do a, what's it? What do they call those guys? Jaw Warriors from Elden Ring? Yes, yeah. Hot <laughs> boys. Hot <laughs> boys, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are so cute. And um And Screech kinda ruined it for me. He says like I think to Screech, he says, Oh there's a face on the chest. With a two. Oh wow, it totally is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I see two. I see like an upside down one as well. Oh, yeah. But actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's kind of cool because if you highlight that properly, you can actually make that really awesome. Yeah. I also love the weapon that it comes with. It's got a grenade launcher. Yeah. Yeah. It can bloop. Screech says uh, Jeff needs to make a mini 30 minute missions, Jeff, uh, with an SA shield and everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> like my night armor. Yeah, I can like paint it up like the SA crest that I had on. And Screech's, uh... Hey, <laughs> I don't know those how... Those Deep guns like, my boy Alexander, the jaw warrior. How do you guys get those uh, emojis? I don't know. I saw them in our Discord as well. I was like, wow, these guys are really, like, tech savvy. I feel too dumb about these emojis. Oh. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> they're from the future, Jeff. <laughs> so, so... I love so this cool. head. I want, like, this this unit here mm -hmm. i like this design so much i think this looks awesome mm. uh, i like what's going on here but uh yeah we'll see but that, wait hold on oh yeah cool no 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 it's good now we got this uh, super booster propellant. yeah mm. so you can make your own what's it uh unicorn uh, full armored unicorn with those giant uh, uh <laughs> fuel tanks with this, yeah cheaper version <laughs> Oh yeah, like that's another great thing about the, you know, I, I'm sure I've mentioned so many times, but the great thing about the 30 minutes mission line is that they are also quite uh, customizable with HG Gunpla um, model kits as well. Yeah. No, no, they are. Jeff, you know what you just made me think of? It's like, you know, it's like you're going, Mom, Mom, I want uh, full armor unicorn Gundam, you know, Pete Bandai with the booster set. And your mom's like, no, Jeff, we've got that at home. And then it's like, at home. <laughs> yeah. but look, this is pretty cool, you know? Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, th this is actually very much like down, uh, up my alley, down the street, in my like wheelhouse, all those yeah. great... Uh, because as you can see, they make customization like so much simpler, you know, you don't need to mm. pull out your knife and sand and cut parts. These like, they just have a similar connection joints. It's almost like Lego, the idea mm. of Lego with model kits combined, you know, so it makes it much easier. And uh, I just like the shape language a lot. I really love these shields. This is actually what appeals to me about, I don't know where those shields come from, but I want that set. Uh, yeah, it's coming yeah. from another set. Yeah, because that set is very cool. And then the water slide decals. Yeah, finally. This, this, this is new. Um, yeah, this is new info. So this is the uh, second uh, set. Yeah, because they, they currently have like another um, denim um, decals already. We actually bought them in recently and was sold out like mm. very quickly. Okay. So this is a second edition. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of caution. But, 
mark, uh, markings. I like the font they have here for the numbers as well. But I love the caution deck, uh, like you just pointed out now. I like all the, the wide range of caution colors you get, because that stuff's always fun. Yeah, different colors, that's cool. Yeah, then, you know, here's the experience, the awesomeness of 30 minute yeah. missions, blah, blah, blah. blah. I think that's pretty much it. <clears throat> okay, cool. next. And then, <laughs> 30 minute sisters. Yay. <laughs> So I think Lindsay um, likes one of her rabbits. Yeah, she has yeah. for it. They are pretty cool. They are very cool. I I hate that we can't get um, these at the moment because they we're just waiting for like production. <laughs> oh, so you're talking about the stop. current releases, huh? Yeah, just the current releases because this is such a yeah. cool line, <clears throat> and I've may, I I think I may have said on the podcast before, but I would love to just just add mech parts you know like you know like you know create that kind of you know when you see artworks of like a mecha musumi a mecha girl like in a gundam suit you know it's like mm. so they're i'm dying to do something cool like that you know with these um like really go I like the legs on on this one it's like much more beefier mechier yeah and then also these are shorter these are the i think yeah that's what I, sorry guys i know i'm like yeah, so this is the the little sister or whatever the or whatever it's called, but yeah, they're smaller. So it's like they're... totally new body molds, basically. Yeah, but I think I think this part is the same size. But hey, whatever, we'll know when we get them, eventually. Mm. But uh, that's pretty cool of them. Combine. Like it's cool. Mm. Mm. cool. Yeah, you were More saying things. they can combine. No, yeah, the the black and white one they can combine together. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to build mine one day for a build stream, but I just yeah. feel bad building it when we don't have anybody for people. Well, we'll see. So. We'll see. <laughs> we'll come back cool, man. And yeah. then um, that's all the that's all the news. Yeah, Jeez, all the like, news. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm sorry, man. I know we wanted to go through that faster, but yeah, yeah. You and I okay, just so have too much I to think... say. I have so too what, much to what, say. What's what's your feeling about these? I'm gonna go with Leicester. What do you feel? Uh, dude, I'm gonna. Uh, I think my sentiments are the same as most people at the moment. Um, I feel very overwhelmed in general, to be honest. Mm. Um, but then at the same time, and this is what happened. I I saw the announcements. I was like, okay, cool, no big thing. And I was like excited to see some of the new pictures and the new Mazinger was like stood out for me as a as a really nice release because that was completely new. We weren't expecting that at all. Um, but then I realized, wow, we actually got a lot of stuff coming out this year already. I mean, we've got mm. uh, we've got all of the the Witch from Mer uh, Mercury stuff. We've got all of uh, we've got that MGX coming at the end of the year. There's this, there's G Gundam that's still coming out. There's still like Shenlong Gundam that's coming out. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of really great stuff coming. So I'm kind of happy that there haven't been any more big announcements yeah. because honestly, I don't think I could afford it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As much well, as like, I'd love to. Yeah. So I think for me, it's like I was just excited about these concept art that, that you're going to show now because mm -hmm. last week, uh, you know, they announced these three uh, mobile suits concept art. And so I was thinking, oh, if they did it last week, then this week, and they're announcing the gunpla stuff it's like i was like predicting oh they're gonna show the gunpla for these guys <laughs> mm. but then that didn't happen so yeah so yeah, so, what yeah so yeah and then also i mean all of this stuff was super exciting for me because i mm. think you guys know i am so sold on which from mercury's yeah, designs which mercury new designs yeah Dude. i really love these um uh, the mecha design for the series and um this guy looks amazing felect Feels there's our like, uh, um when i saw this i was like oh this looks like armored core mech <laughs> it's very armored core like yeah but it's also like you can see this guy is like a bit of the edge lord in the series <laughs> um yeah. and edge lord mechs are always cool like hmm. at least in my eyes they are so i mean that that stuff's exciting um i'm i must say the version k announcement the fact that there is actually something new coming from version k that is exciting and even though it's a leak and not technically an announcement the leak does come from a pretty reliable source it's the same source that revealed the perfect grade rx78 um unleashed Wait, are you talking about the mgsd leak or 
Yeah, so that same leaker is the same guy who leaked the PG Unleashed. And so, yeah, and that was true. So that stuff, that's getting me like really, really excited at the moment. So yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. And you guys there in the, in the chats, uh, well, let's, what let's is your the general one last, uh, what is, Let's go through the one last concept art. And we can just, I, yeah. I thought the Felect was the last one. No, uh, there's another. Oh, yes, sorry. Yes, yeah, could... sorry, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so out of I the three, I know we went through them very quickly, but which of the three are you guys most excited for? Yeah, it's a shame that know. we didn't see Model Kit uh, announce for them, but yeah, like this is my favorite, the Mechalese one. No, no, they they definitely going to do these. I mean, yeah, so it's this one, the, the Michaelis, or Michaelis, there's the Felect, there's the Delanza, or the Delanza Guell. Which I think is the Zaku of the series. Yeah, At least this is a make, yeah, because they said dedicated yeah. machines, so like obviously there's yeah. gonna be like uh, so this is the yeah oh sorry this is just the commander's um, Zaku for the series so to speak. How cool is the and feather? Hey, <laughs> I think it's very cool. I'm curious to see how they do that as a model kit thing. I mean, yeah, it's probably just like a molded plastic, molded piece. plastic. But I'm curious to see how they do it. Like if it comes out nicely, mm -hmm. it'll be uh, because I'm pretty sure a lot of guys, um, a lot of model builders, okay. like are going to try and you know like hunt, get the, hunt some chicken or like you know yeah <laughs> yeah or like raid a pillow or something and you know, try to pull out mm -hmm. a feather pillows or something. But uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I said Michaelis is my favorite one. Um, um, yeah, just because it looks like a knight. But yeah, which mm. one's yours? <laughs> All of them. No, you <laughs> no, gotta... <laughs> yeah, I gotta, gotta... Out of these releases, uh, my I... favorite one is this guy, the Fair Act. I mm. love this. I think this is really, really good. It's a very sexy design. Um, yeah. It's difficult yeah. for me to pick just one. But if I have to, if I could only buy one of these kits and I saw them all in the shop, this would be the one, yeah. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm yeah. talking about after I've already bought Big Wur, Bu, <laughs> and the other one, and the Ariel. Yeah. <laughs> the so, Lefrith yeah. and the Ariel. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go for the Gundam Lefrith and skip the Bagul Bull and then go for the Meculus. Yeah. No. But yeah, uh, let us know in the chat which one's your favorite out of these three. Cool. So far, it's uh, it's blowing up here uh, in the chat. Uh, firstly, Ratsas is very excited at the waifu bots. Don't worry, Ratsas will make it come true, my man. Um, Otaku Dean is like, oh my cake, that first 30 minute sister kit is adorable. Um, yeah, super. it very much is, actually. I even looked at that and was like, hmm, that's actually quite a cool build. You know, it'd be nice to build for somebody. Um, Ratsas, Gundam Aerial looks good. I'm hyped for the show. Uh, and then um, Screech feels like uh, Screech is like Felect is so cool. Yeah, Screech, rival, rival. <laughs> um, like this is and then Tenro Oswald Felect for sure. Team Felect, oh. yes. <laughs> and Ratsas is like Felect and cool. Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Ataku Dean is excited. Uh, is really in love with the Ariel design, even though he loves all of them. So. Mm -hmm. Very cool. uh, like they're so wow. unique, but yeah, is that uh, is that the end of it? I think that is that's all the announcements, dude. I feel like Sweet. I feel like we're only gonna get 10 minutes of community stream in, so should we jump into it quickly? Yeah, let's go. Cool, dun dun dun. Yay. Oh, not us, you wonderful creature bringing Godzilla here. Um, I actually saw a skyline on the road the other day. Hey, uh, sorry. Uh, I wonder if uh, Nut is still in the chat. Thing. He might be hiding there. He might be listening to us while he's working. But yeah, he did these great skyline builds, which I thought came mm -hmm. out very, very well. Especially love the um, R thirty four here. It's one of my favorites. And let's warm up in here. Cool. Oh yeah, Josh Links. Isn't this um? This wasn't this your first kit. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. At He's Josh Links, like quantum. I just, yeah, I just add Josh Josh Links because I'm looking at Discord and I'm thinking of my Discord brain. <laughs> and then uh, Pixel Logo is checking out some of the new armor test pieces for for 30 minute missions. And, and yeah, he looking stole the, and he stole, stole the sword. Uh, Barbatos. <laughs> yeah. 
Good choice. That's a cool looking sword. Oh yeah, Dean bought. What's hey, the again? The um, mobile mobile doll may. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is. This is great. I actually forgot we had these. They came in and out so quickly. They were yeah, just like, they, they, were, they were the first items to get sold out on. Yeah. And they're rad. They are very, very cool. And it looks really great out of the box. Nice one, Dean. Very, hmm. very nice. Oh, I love it with the human head. <laughs> so if you dig this, you're going to love City Minute it, Sisters, eh? Hey? It feels a bit, uh, what's it, Uncanny Valley? Um, scene. But the human head, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. But I like this with the F91 shield. Hmm. That's very cool. Yeah. Is it a F91 shield in mold or they just re like adjust? I actually don't know. I don't know if it's um been using it like no no no. This looks like it was made for the kit. Because I've yeah, got the F91. Well I'm I'm saying like did I just use the same mold from F91's kit or do is like did for I for the energy mold? I'm pretty sure, but not for the attachment. Yeah, okay. yeah, because I like I've got that kit. Oh yeah, cool. Here's Pixel logo. He's hey, built up the guts to put some plot plating yeah, on his uh, nutchen tank. Nice yeah. dude, that's looking good, man. Sure. Like and even these guys getting are tiny, that right. Man. Hey. Making it look. These guys are tiny, and he's making it look quite big. Yeah. Hmm. It's a good shot. It's a good macro <clears throat> shot there. Um. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Scoop Lord is attacking the the Mew. She looks like a, she killed a Mew or something. It's just got the skull. Yeah, she's like, I have it. <laughs> and now I'll mount this on my fireplace, which she would never do because, you know, she's like totally a vegan. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, but look at it. So cute. Hmm. Very cool. We've got a video, but like playing a video through here always yeah. feels weird for me. <laughs> um, oh. Pixelogo has primed these oh, nuts. Oh, nice. Ooh, it's getting serious. I'm looking getting forward serious. to what that color scheme you do it. The Supreme, uh, Supreme Dewey showing off his uh, posing skills with that Strike Rouge. I think he says this was his girlfriend's uh, first Master Grade or first model kit. Nice. It's a good kit. Yeah. Hmm. The Strike Rouge is very nice. It's also such a great value for money kit too. If yeah. I do say I like so. how he displays the manual behind the kit. <laughs> yeah. That's actually, that's very creative. Nicely done. Hmm. I like, I actually like that. I think that's an idea that a few, I think a few people are going to steal from him. Because hmm. it's a good one. Ooh, ooh, which Mallory? Yes. Some 40k stuff. Ooh. Very, very nice. Well, that's but some wait, good work. I don't know if that's her work or if she's showing yeah, up, but oh, no, it's not her work. Yeah. Damn it, Witch Mallory, you got me all excited. I was about to say, damn, why aren't you entering, um, you know, petition? I was gonna, yeah, but no, there's a specific one, man. It's the golden something. Can't remember now. Um, I'm just gonna get this one here. Uh, this is from Ricardo. Ricardo. That's looking good. Oh, the stickers are coming along. Yeah, nice day. I can see the stickers are going on. <laughs> Think that's. This, I think that's the art. No. Is it the RG Quanta or is it the HG? Looks like an you know, RG. Looks like the RG. Yeah, Literally. look at the first two, you'll know. Because it's got a mm. close. And also, it's got that RG hand. That. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, sweet. Screech. <laughs> like a, a, a tip to you guys out there if you want to know what line of a kit it is, the first thing you look at is for the hands. <laughs> This um this railgun nutchen looks great, eh, when it's built. Hmm. I love this from the side. It kind of reminds me of um something from Metal Gear. It's kind of got that Metal oh, Gear yeah, feel. Turkey, turkey. Yeah. It looks so cool with some panel lining or just some detail painting. Hmm. Yeah. Totally. Um, Dean just showing off his Mew as well. He also caught a Mew. <laughs> he caught a Mew. Yeah. It's... Um. Sabrina Dewey is just showing us his whole collection, which is <laughs> insane. That Sanandra Stein is looking very sharp, dude. Nice uh, last plate. And some real greats. <clears throat> and some tanks. Good ease. Oh, some good looking yeah. armor. 
Oh, <laughs> Dean, <laughs> I remember when he got this. Yeah. yeah, those dreadlocks. <laughs> this is a very cool looking uh, design. Hmm. Very clever. And then it's Supreme like Dewey is showing off some of his Zaku, yeah. Uh, love the, the camera. camouflage. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, and it's really well pulled off. Definitely. Um, uh, uh, Supreme Dewey, I don't know if you do a lot of camo with an airbrush. Uh, but it looks like you do, and if you don't, then you've got a really good hand and eye for it. So nicely done. Well, he just takes good skills that from from painting tanks into gunpla. That's yeah, cool. there we go, transferable skills. So, oh <coughs> yeah, sweet, exactly. this is what the here's the Edward. He's looking good. Yeah, the pirate victory gun Um Cool breeze, who we haven't seen for a while, showing off some of Ooh. his uh, actual work. So he's got this great Honda. Which is a uh, which is really beautiful, but what really blew me away was this. This is a really stunning. This is that is really the stunning F14? Work. No, that looks like an 18. <laughs> okay, no, FA 18, and it's low vis as well. Looks beautiful. No. Okay, cool. So yes, yeah, still I could be wrong. Um. Breeze, if yeah. one day you ever see this video and uh, we would love to see your, your gunpla. I know you got a ground Gundam mm. and also a RG Strike. So yeah, we'd love to see those. And so, this is stunningly done, hey? Like to get that mm. kind of glass shine, that's a lot of work, hey? So I'm talking about on the body. <laughs> that's, that, and the same with this motorbike. It requires work. You can get it out of the... You can spray it like that, but you still have to do a little bit of polishing and work. It's beautiful. Mm. And also, just... And, and the reason I like to show this off... I know a lot of us on jet builders, armor builders, whatever, but transferable skills. There's a lot of mm. good stuff happening here that you can bring into your Gundam kits or into your mecha kits. Shading. And then uh, La Volpe, <laughs> showing oh, off his uh, ground type. Yeah. Yeah. I love the lighting here, it's really cool. But this is a this is an awesome pose. And he's done some marker work and stuff. Some yeah, like painted the, the rifle. Very nice. I love this pose. <laughs> Very nice. And uh what else? Oh yes, Guyver Unit One. <laughs> Been a little busy on this little dude. Yeah, he's Wukong. Sun Wukong. Uh, Impulse Gundam. Yeah. And then this little guy, I think, I keep wanting to call this Atlas, uh, but what is this called again? Uh, Core Gundam. Core Gundam, yeah. Yeah. Uh, midget Gundam. Midget Gundam. <laughs> it's actually Con such a, I thought it was a clever idea, yeah. actually. Like a height challenged Gundam. But then, no, he combines with these extra parts. And then he becomes so full size. Uh, Gundam becomes O3 Gundam. There we go, O3. That's the name. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And then the RG, RG. Wing yeah. Custom. Such a good kit. I know I say that every time I see it, but <clears> it is <throat> a good kit. It's a fun build. Hmm. Love my Wing Zero RG. This, <laughs> I love this. It's a Gundam. Is the vibe I get. You know, like <laughs> oh. Or if you're a Metal Gear fan, they're like, Snake! <laughs> yeah, it's cool, yeah. Right? Uh, it's very cool. Yeah, I, I, love the next picture where he, I love the next picture where he's like uh, posing with the sh a shorter HG. <laughs> this one? Or, or this no, no, one? No, no, no. That one. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like cool. big brother and smaller brother. Ooh, and now we've got like... Ooh, and Rico. Yeah, and um, sort of slowly starting to show us some um, of his uh, VF1. Hmm. The super pack. Um, well, yeah, Valkyrie was strike was super pack. So that's looking good already. And then uh, Tenro. Tenro, your bold is here, dude. It's your <laughs> Zeta, your real great Zeta. Which, you know, you managed to transform without breaking <laughs> but even that in itself that is that is a feat oh yeah, i just want to just point this out i love tenro's like uh 
separator here in the background. Oh, it yeah. looks like it could have been an old CD rack or something, but that's super useful. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm super scared of those transformable kits out of like uh, RG scale 144. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. I'm the same. <clears throat> it's beyond global. Yeah. Like yeah, your 13 really minis. Cool. His first uh, gunpla, yeah. His yeah. first model kit was the Ultraman 7.5. And yeah, this was his first gunplay. <clears throat> and uh, I think let's leave it at that because I feel like we've gone into the end of Ooh. our broadcast um, yeah. session. We'll leave it here on um, Spoop Lord's Poke Pokemon's collection. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah. Jeff, all in all, I didn't even ask you, man. Like as we're going out, um, how do you feel about these releases? Like. How do you feel about everything that's happened in the last two days? Is there anything that's jumping out at you? Like, uh, yeah, out, you know, disregarding the, the new announcements, I think, yeah, the rest of the schedules for this year's releases, we've got a, you know, every, every month there's like a nice kit coming out. If mm. you think about it, July, next month, we've got, well, I'm excited for the HG uh, Ruchimaru. Mm -hmm. huh? Ruchimaru? And then August is the RG Gundam. Uh, I mean, not the RG Gundam, RG God Gundam. Yeah. September I mean, is a, September, is it? Is, yeah, because there's Ryujin Maru. Uh, yeah, Ryujin Maru. Is it, is it September that's got the RG Gal Gai Gal Road? It's like two RGs back to back. Jeff? Yeah. Sorry, bud. Look at the mic quickly. Which one was that again? Look at the mic. Yeah. Now we can hear you better. <laughs> oh. That was my body really yeah. soft. Yeah. Cardioid mics and all that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, uh, what? Should I just go back and just recap? No, 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 no. Just, uh, just with the real grades. You were just saying with the Dan Cougar. Or the, yeah, the Gal Geiger. Think, sorry. I think August is the RG God Gundam, and mm -hmm. in September, like the month of right after that, is the RG Gal Gai Gai, mm. I think. And aren't we supposed to be getting Raiders soon as well? Um, I think Raiders, we, I think came Raiders out, out. In, yeah. Raider came out in May, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of really, really cool stuff already, you know? Mm. So that's why, if guys are feeling like, that's why I was thinking, like, if, you, if you're upset about the announcements, yeah, it is kind of a bummer. But there's so much great stuff coming out already. Like really yeah. amazing. Like, like August, we're also getting those uh, HGE, uh, which from Mercury, uh, which from Mercury kits. And mm -hmm. the October is when the series starts. So, you know, uh, you, you're not only going to get Gundam Aerial, I'm sure they're going to have another, like generally in the past, um, Gundam animes is like, as the show starts every month, you get at least two kits from the same, from the show. So mm. I'm pretty sure that they're going to announce pretty close to when the anime starts airing that in October we'll get Gundam Aerial plus something else. Probably one of those uh, three concepts that we saw. And then you know, November, two more kits from uh, Witch from Mercury and December, two more kits from Witch from Mercury as well. And we keep going for the next few months. So, <clears throat> yeah. So we'll see more stuff coming. Yeah, man. Yeah. So it's exciting, exciting times, and as you guys know, we will keep you updated uh, when we when we know what's going on, and yeah, and we'd love to hear your thoughts. So obviously, let us know. For those of you guys that are in our Discord, um, yeah. Jeff, how can people? In... Oh, oh so anything else in the uh, Discord? I was, I was, yeah. No, I mean, is there anything else in the chat from the guys? Um, yeah. no, just that. Uh, yeah. Skyline yeah that uh, rat says was like is that an r32 it's like yes it is and there's an r34 as well in there so i was referring I to not to is yeah. my only regret is i i can only would take out one loan <laughs> <laughs> oh just pace, just pace yourself you know like these kids will get reproduced at some point yeah. they will um some of them will and some of them won't <laughs> And then rat test is. I don't think I'll financially recover from this. 
Oh, it's Kenny. Dude, it's an absolute pleasure, dude. Shot, man. Shot for, for chilling with us um, tonight and for, you know, hearing Jeff and my voice for like a good hour and a half. Um, yeah. Dude, yeah, I think... Nice, um, right? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, I think oh, it's no, nice, just, like, uh, going, going forward with a podcast, doing it live. No, I prefer them live. It's much easier. It's less stress on you. Nobody has to edit anything. We don't have to plan it. It's just it's done. It's out mm. there. Um, guys, uh, what I... Just, uh, just want to throw out there as a thing, um, you know, we've been speaking about the Discord and we've been speaking about, you know, Jeff and I have been talking about, oh, you know, when we get this in and get that in. And if you guys don't know, Gunplay SA is uh, a place where we build the Gunplay community in South Africa. We also happen to sell kits as well. And if you want to be a part of that, it's really, really simple. You can either um, buy a kit from us or buy one of the products that we sell or you can get yourself a cool set of stickers or buy yourself a voucher and that will get you access to our discord and if you're somebody who loves Gundam as much as we do then we definitely want you on there um, yeah. so and, uh, yeah that's yeah, how you can get us if you're, and if you're international we don't want to disclude well we don't want to disclude huh? exclude, exclude. Mm. yeah did I say disclude what the hell it's is getting, that it's getting late that's all <laughs> Yeah, man. yeah um we don't exclude um international viewers as well if you want to join our community in discord you can just simply check out our patreon and uh yeah join us there as well yeah that's how you get into the discord yay and we've already got a, quite a few uh, yeah we've got a few international guys already so, yeah. yes so um with that said uh everybody remember to oh let me get this kit yeah until next time guys until next stream keep Building joy! Bra Yay! Oh, Brady, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna. RX78, boop. <laughs> <laughs> right? Cool. Cheerios! Bye! Bye!